Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you the PetNet Generation 2 feeder and how we go about replacing the Wi-Fi board uh, in it to pretty much shut off PetNet's functionality and uh, turn on our own and uh, we're going to control the motor directly so we lose a little bit of the functionality but um, you know the bells and whistles in their app but it's uh, at least going to feed the cats Uh, this is the plug that it came with and uh, it works perfectly fine no need for a different power supply like we had to do with the generation one so first let me uh, show you how to break this thing down I'm gonna have to take this apart so we got to take the top piece off first I'm gonna spin this and just take this out and set it aside. So then, here on the bottom, this little plate here, pops off. And these four holes here, 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 and here, you're going to need a Torx T10 uh, to get each of those screws out. Okay. Once those are out, the bottom, you got to be careful here because of the button up and lift. And then you can turn it on its side see the insides. So here what I've done, you've got the orange ones here, the orange wires go to the motor down here, that's these two, and then the blue ones actually go to the power port uh, back here. Black one from the power, black one from the motor, go into the black side of the power port. You have to have, create a, uh, a separate piece of wire and uh, you know cut it and, and make it go from the, uh, uh, the ground port here over here to the power port on this one along with the red wire and then the red wire from the motor goes into the NO or normally open port on this uh, new Wi-Fi board that we're putting in here. I'm going to power this on and I'll show you. You can see the lights flashing, and uh, here in a minute when it connects to my Wi-Fi, there you have it. And now to show you the functionality that it does work, here we have my eWing Link app, and I've got the Gen 2 feeder here, and I've got the inching already set up in here under its profile uh, you go down here to inching settings and then you set the duration I have mine set for five sec or 0.5 seconds just for the demonstration and then you uh, turn it on and you hit save and so what that's going to do is whatever that inching setting you have when you hit this button will directly control the motor and in this case it spins that hopper and dispenses food for that amount of time. 
and that's it and uh, so I recommend uh, for my cats I use a little kibble about um, you know a two second inch time and then I set up a schedule for three times a day and that much food comes out for the cats okay so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to actually set it up uh, and link it to your wireless through the eWe link app um, so right here we're gonna go back to the home you can see well maybe you can see that it's a little bright um, let me turn that down so we have the pet net feeder my original one is right there and we're gonna hit this add button down well uh, first we're gonna put the board into pairing mode so this button right here you're gonna hold that down until it flashes let go and then you're gonna hold it down again until it's flashing fast okay so here in the app we are going to hit the add button down here we're gonna scroll up and down here at the very bottom there's this compatible mode we're gonna click that then we're going to hit next and uh, so here this first screen for under add device you need your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi setting so that's my network and my password and you keep that in there Then when you hit next it says you're gonna to have to find the IT EAD that's being broadcasted uh, because right now it's in pairing mode so it's it, it should uh, be broadcasting that so we're gonna hit connect here it's gonna bring me to my uh, Wi-Fi settings and then we're gonna look for it and there it is so that is the access point uh, of the the eWe link board and now that we are connected to it and the password for it is uh, one two three four five six seven eight we're going to go back to the eWe Link software and it says next. So we're going to hit next. It's going to say, Do you want to join that access point? And it should give you some errors. I don't know why, but basically it's done and it's connected. At this point, you can name it uh, and just set it up for a room if you want. We're just going to hit done. And basically, it says it's going to take a little bit before it gets onto your Wi-Fi so in my case it is already there and that is its normal name uh, and you can see it has a solid light so once you've added it and, and it's there you want to click on it and then up in the top right hand corner here there's these uh, ellipses the three little dots and you're gonna hit that to bring up the settings and they're probably if you buy the board uh, and it's the first time you're setting it up there's probably a firmware update for it you're going to want to do that as well but uh, just turn on inching you're going to come down here to inching and you see how it's uh, set to off you're going to turn that on and then you're going to actually set the seconds for inching that you want it to, to rotate to spit out food again I recommend a, a two second interval uh, if you're using small kibble and uh, you hit save and then you go back and back again and uh, whenever you hit that button or at the scheduled time frames that you set uh, this device is going to you know spit out its food so once you've got it all set up uh, reverse the process uh, you're just going to uh, put the uh, you know system back together uh, in order to hold this board in place, I just put a piece of Velcro on the, the back side of it so you can, you know, get it to, to stay there any way you like. Um, this battery, I just popped it off and moved it out of the way and it's still sticky, so I just stuck it there. Uh, pretty much uh, in this configuration, you're not going to use 
or have you know any of the sensors or things that uh, the, the normal pet net device really has you're just going to have the ability to you know feed on a schedule uh, controlling those inching settings and you know how long it spins the motor and that's pretty much it